What's that? I'm back. Uh, yeah, just a couple of things. Uh, I don't really do YouTube anymore, but uh, this time I just wanted to do the Wreck It Ralph review because I just watched it and maybe a uh, glass review as well. Um, guess it's kind of both um, things and why specifically these two is that I guess there was so much hype towards it that I think um, not having it meet that high, you know what I'm saying, it's, it, it's not that it, it didn't meet my expectations, it's just that it didn't meet that hype, uh, you know, I think when you build something up with such aggressive, like, marketing techniques and all that, and, and, you know, a lot of buzz is going around, you, you expect a certain level of quality that comes to it, I'm not saying that both these films are bad, but, Okay, let, let, let me just break it down like this. Um, okay, first, um, the most recent movie I've watched, uh, caught up on, rather, is uh, Wreck Ralph 2. Um, I thought that movie was okay. I thought, uh, I thought it was good. Um, yes, it did have, you know, subtle hints at, um, you know, jabs at certain internet culture, I would say. Um... And I thought that they would dive a little bit deeper in it, but um, this whole movie was rather a platform for Disney to go, you know what, we're, we're going to break the fourth wall instead with this, with ourselves. And I think that, you know, Disney has all the prerogative to go and do that, but for me, it's it's getting a little tiring to the point where I'm like, it's not, it's, it's still a bit funny, but... I don't know, I don't know if it's this much warranted, you know, like, Disney will forever be a place in our hearts, and yes, you know, there's ever, ever going to be the joke about, you know, the princesses or whatever, but, you know, technically the princesses built the Disney brand, without the princesses, we would not have the Disney that we know, uh, you know, Snow White was the was the Kickstarter, and then, um, you know, Beauty and the Beast, and so on and so forth. Um, it's good to hear Pedro Her doing Bell again. I, I, I wasn't, you know, such I, I don't know, I don't remember much from the original animated one. Um, I just know that the, the live-action one was shite, so I, I, I didn't even, I didn't even, did I finish it? I don't. I don't remember. I didn't. I. I don't remember finishing the the Beauty and the Beast the twenty seventeen live action one. Yeah, I did. Ten, ten movies. Anyway, <laughs> uh, those ceramic porcelain still haunts my dream. By the way, what the fuck was that? Anyway, um, Wrecker Ralph two. Um, I thought that this movie was interesting in the ways that I would have liked them to explore more of the world but I get it there needs to be a story relating back to wreck Ralph that's why I was so surprised that it wasn't you know tying back into the arcade world because you can do that like I mean get the online thing like wi-fi and then you know certain games or arcade games come in that need on the online presence like there's so many things you can do with the whole internet angle and i think they they didn't do that they could have even done vr like seriously like that's such a wasted opportunity because that is essentially internet plus arcade coming together um and i know it's very shaky because i i do usually do a lot of hand gestures but i'm on my phone um, but yeah, I, I, I thought that the, the story was good. I was more interested in finding out about, like, how, uh, Penelope was gonna, you know, fit into the whole world and all that. But, you know, you gotta relate it to Ralph in some ways because, you know, it's wreck it Ralph. He's, he is the titular character, but... It seemed to me that, you know, the whole Me Too movement and all that, the Time's Up, whatever, um, whole activism agenda came into this movie, the whole 
Hollywood liberalism came into this movie and and took the the story after they went into the internet and she went into the slaughter race so it was very much Vanellope's story but it still had to had ties with record Ralph it, if if that makes any sense um but I still thought it was okay there was nothing in it where I was like eh, you know I don't well there were some jokes where I was like, okay, you can stop, which was the Disney princesses jokes, um, and the whole, you know, do you, you know, the whole, do you realize that, you know, it's not all about the big guy helping out, and, you know, that's what it is. I, I get it. I, I get why the jokes is there. I, I get why the jokes are there. I get why, you know, certain things are, are in there for... Um, there's nothing wrong in wanting to empower women, but I, I, it comes to the point where I think even women are like, eh, maybe, maybe don't do that. Um, uh, because I think it takes so much out of the, the story elements because you're spending so much time on that, that you're, you're taking away time for, you know, other things that you could be doing with the story. Um... And then we go on to Glass, and why I chose these two is because it's the most two recent two movies I chose to watch. But also I think that there's there is a a line joining them, which is the hype that was surrounding these two movies. Uh, Wreck It Ralph obviously came out first. It was in de- December of last year, I think. Uh, I didn't get to watch it because I had finals. Um, and yeah, um, I thought that, you know, Glass was the same way as well, because there was so, such anticipation because of Split, and you know, what are they gonna do, you know, how, how are they gonna relate and all that, um, and, and, you know, these two movies have, like, something in, more in common than not, which is the, the whole not meaning the hype but rather meaning your expectation like they knew the hype was there but i think they kind of also knew that they couldn't fully capitalize on the 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 hype if that makes any sense um i think for me uh if i was to to pick out the more you know quote unquote tolerable one I would still pick Wreck It Ralph because it was, it felt shorter. Uh, but there were some scenes that's like, eh, let's let's fast forward this because I I know it's the whole cliche, friends things. Man, they're driving the friends thing down to the ground with this one. I don't, I don't know if the the third one is even even more you know, even a necessity at this point because they're just gonna drive that whole friendship thing to the ground. Um. I mean, they already did that in the first one. I don't know. I don't know why they brought that plot again. You know, like I get you have to do a sequel, but do it on on something more interesting, like Vanabi's adventure in in this the slaughter race. You, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I, I, I'm just being. I'm just being a stickler for these things, but definitely better than um, Cars Two. Well, it was a bit like Cars Two, but not as insufferable as Cars Two. I'm getting off point here. Uh, Glass. Glass was more on the case where it was so inflated by by the, the whole comic book talk. And I know, I, I, I've said it to my friend as well. Like I said, uh, you know what? I only realized that because, you know, a few of my favorite reviewers have pointed it out. But I think I would have gotten it. It was, it was like... We're like sitting down in a in an ethics lecture, you know, like hearing all the things and the concepts and all that. Well, but all you need to do was was read this, was read the material, understood what the key points were and and how to and how to structure the essay. But that's all you need to know. So I'm a writer, you know. I do, I don't need to hear people explain like, oh, do you know? But it was interesting to hear about, you know. But it's just at the point where okay, you're at a point where you're like, ah, I've had enough. I've had my fill. 
let's not go past what you want to talk about. Uh, but they did. I was like, ah, oh my God, are we, are we really doing this? Um, but yes, the, the whole comic book thing and the whole evil organization one was, I think, a bit overdone. But I, I, I get why Shyamalan would want to go in that direction because he's already introduced the, the villain from Unbreakable and then Split is uh, another another villain. I think with Shyamalan, he's good at inventing villains because even even in the visit, you know, his twist is based on the villain, which is the grandparents in the house, and um, and then the whole other atmosphere is the the house and and how it's so much. Uh, to the insidious movies, you know, whatever. I don't. I don't really care that it's close to it. I was just like, oh, it was a great movie, um, the visit, uh, and I would have liked to see him doing more of that. Uh, and it does still play on that horror movie shtick, but I was just like, ah, oh, maybe you know, maybe don't do, you know, that whole talky talk that he likes to do. But he did, so eh, I don't know. I I'm I'm very split on Shyamalan. <laughs> it's not a play on it, <laughs> but that was that was so unintentional. It caught me off by surprise. Um, I'm I'm split on on Shyamalan because I I do genuinely kind of like um Lady in the Water, but now that I look at it a second time, I'm like, yeah, it was, it was stupid. Uh, because initially when I watched um, Lady and Wonder, I was about 10, 11, 11, 12. Um, I was watching Lady and Wonder, and I thought that was a horror movie. Um, but Shyamalan hadn't done, uh, at least my 11-year-old knowledge, um, you know, he hadn't done um, horror movies yet. And then, you know, the, uh, Lady in the Water happened, and... Uh, um, Signs, I uh, know, not signs. Um, the happening happened. Um, <laughs> redundancy. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I remember watching a bit of, of uh, the happening uh, because my sisters were watching it and then it got very bad and then and they were like, yeah, don't watch it because, you know, you're a kid. Um, but yeah, I, I heard all the yeah, screaming in the background and I was scared because I thought it was a scary movie. But uh, it was just, you know, effects and all that so um and my 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 eldest sister is a big Shyamalan junkie so I I I think it would be more for her well not more for her because you know she doesn't really enjoy comic book stuff as well I don't I don't know it, it's it's kind of sp it's kind of splitting for her I guess as well uh but for for me Glass was just a movie where where you had to just accept that okay you know there are people like these you know special power people like from heroes or whatever and they exist and then you know there's an e well the more i think about it and the more i bring up heroes is is so somewhat to heroes where you know you're not really not sure whether there's an evil organization and then it's 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 revealed that there is an evil organization so i i think it 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 plays well on that part but then when it gets to the whole expositiony side of it i'm just like yeah i'm going to tune out <laughs> i'm going to really tune out on this um and that's the issue with this movie it's it's oversaturated with all the the talky talk you know like um you know the comic books characters are not really real you know like, it's not it's not his history uh it's not real history uh it's just a bunch of fiction so it's it's one of those things where i don't know what i'm trying to do there uh, it was one of those things where I was like, um, yeah, so get back to the story. I, I would have liked more of the the girl and, and um, Kevin Wendell Crumb. I would have liked to see more of that relationship bloom. I would have liked to see Elijah Price do more things. Uh, it, it's his movie. He is the titular character, but 
We don't really get to see him do stuff except for staring blankly at the four walls and then moving into the 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 whole third act with you know hacking the computer. And I I I get it. It's the whole mastermind thing. He's tricking you. I I get that's what the main twist is but the whole second twist is so lame i'm just like i didn't even fucking care if there was really someone there because it's obvious that you also kind of believe that they're these type of people as well you know you don't see other crazy people there so Obviously, you have a hidden agenda, because what mental institution does not have other mental, you know, health patients? Like, it's so stupid, but you gotta take it on the chin, I guess, I don't know. Um, But, I don't know, I just, I just found that to be alright as well. I don't know what to say, because I just found the movie to be good at certain parts and then towards the end I just shut off like I was just like okay we don't need this ending because I didn't need to see I didn't need to see all of them die but you know that's Shyamalan's way of shutting people down for future sequels so like nah fuck this I don't want it anymore um, but yeah, so those were the two main movies I really wanted to talk about. I guess I could talk about Aquaman a bit. Um, I watched, yeah, I watched Aquaman. It was, it was really good. I, I really enjoyed the, the effects, the, the props, you know. Uh, that was really cool. Uh, the CG wasn't perfect, but I was just like, yeah, I can forgive that because, you know, the... Swimming was so obvious that they were like on harnesses because when they moved, I was like, like there's the line, <laughs> there's the line. You can see it. Um, but yeah, overall, it was a, it was a. To be honest, it was a generic story, yes. But I still liked it. I, I still found it okay. I still, I still enjoyed it enough to be like, okay, Aquaman is cool. Um. You know, he can beat down people, he's fun, he's interesting. I would have liked to know more about him and, and the, and the, um, uh, the, um, the right-hand man, to be honest, the William Defoe character, I forgot his name. <laughs> I was just quoting the Goblin every chance I got with him because I was just looking to my friend, I was just like, the heart, Harvey, the first you go for the heart, you know, because, um, the Goblin, you know, such a titular character for me, for, for William Defoe, because I grew up with the, the first Spider-Man, the Sam Raimi Spider-Man, so, you know, I, I still remember a lot of that, um, so, it was weird to see him as a good guy, but, uh, still, I was like, yeah, I would have, like, I would have liked to see more of them interact with each other, I would have liked to see, it's weird because in some movies I was just like, yeah, we don't need to see the backstory of it, but because their whole relationship is kind of based on the fact that he lost his mother, and then his his dad is kind of just like, yeah, you know, I, I get that you have to go, uh, you know, learn some stuff from the sea people, so go ahead, you know, here's here's uh, Ven or whatever his name is, um, you know, go train with the, go train with them because you're gonna be the future king, so. I get that. Uh, sorry for that because my my hand was getting tired. Um, yeah, I I get that, but uh, I was just like, yeah, I I don't know if we really need the full uh, villain because I don't I don't think that's important. But I still get it. You know, it's a it's a superhero movie. You gotta get that. Um, you don't. I don't I don't like the character. You know, and it's the Ocean Master. Uh, apparently this is after, um, Justice League, fuck, <laughs> just totally blanked on it. <laughs> uh, apparently this is after Justice League, but I was like, uh, really? Because I don't remember Atlantis being this clean, and I remember them having this weird wall bubble for them to speak in, and man, that was a weird... 
that was that was weird thing to do, to thread it through. But I guess James Wan knew like eh, you a little bit, bit bit of an Easter egg here, and then back to the movie, back to the movie. We we don't need to talk about Justice League. Um, and yeah, I I gotta respect it for that, like a little bit of an Easter egg, and then just move on, you know. Um, I really think DC should just do do more of these individual movies. I enjoy watching them. I've I've enjoyed. I've enjoyed Wonder Woman. Now I've enjoyed this. Uh, I even kind of enjoyed, you know, Batman. Uh, Batman v Superman. But that was two characters. Um, but that was on another level. I just like making fun of the movie. Um, but yeah, I I. I don't know. I just didn't like Justice League. Um, for me, the best part of Justice League was the whole. St- I don't know. What was the best part of Justice League? <laughs> I guess seeing Cyborg, but even even then, I was like, eh, I can see a bit of the CG there. So, oh, I guess Flash racing with with Superman was pretty fun to watch. Um, well, not watch, but to imagine, because they just shot one frame and then them already in the middle ground, and like, what, you're, you're gonna show us, really? Come on. You know, you know fans are gonna be like, yeah, we wanted really, we wanted to really watch that, so, I don't know. Um, and I guess I'll leave on why I'm not doing YouTube so much anymore, um... The main reason is, I usually do reactions, um, and YouTube is getting really strict with their copyright. And you know, I I've, I've I went to I went to Daily Motion, and they started to have copyright as well. And I'm like, what Daily Motion really? What the fuck? So now I'm on uh, um, what's the what's the site's name as well? I forgot already. Uh, but. Uh, vendor, I think, Ven Venmo, I don't know. Uh, I'll put I put I'll put it in the link below. Uh, but yeah, I'm on there uh, now. Uh, well, not not as active as I want to be, but um, yeah, I I'm just I just, I just wanted to take a break because um, there was not really many shows I I wanted to watch with you guys. Uh, I wanted to see. If I could pick that up again, because um, I I have realized my reactions aren't the way they were, you know, when I first started. Uh, but that uh, I think it it comes in waves. Because uh, for me, when I react to something, I think it, it's just a matter of the timing, and I I gotta find the middle ground between the people that really want to watch the full reaction and the people who want to watch the the highlights of you know where. Where this guy, you know, is shocked the way I'm shocked, or or the way he reacts to things that maybe I would have not taken it that way, um, and that takes a whole other level of of editing that I want to learn as well, but it's it's got to take time. So, um, really, for now, I, I'm just trying to focus on finishing university because I'm not done yet. Really, I'm not done yet. Fuck me, right? So. Uh, the thing is, I want to get done, but I have my Netflix. Uh, I got Netflix in uh, uh, end of last year. Um, I'm maybe gonna post some stuff from Netflix. I don't know. Uh, don't quote me on that. Um, but you know, I found some some good anime to watch, um, and I maybe wanted to share with you guys. But I'm a bit step back because I've already watched them. And I don't really like re-reacting to stuff, um, because I I know all the stuff that's gonna happen, and I'm just like, ah, I don't I don't I, I want to be surprised when you guys are surprised, you know, or when you guys are like, ah, I don't know what's gonna happen, but I want to see what his his reaction is gonna be, so I want that kind of you know st- stuff to happen. So, um, that's mainly this the the reason why I stopped. Uh, but um the copyright stuff because they've they've been claiming me on stuff that's been like year one of Walter and I was like 
really like 2015 like guys come on that was like three years ago and only now you're gonna you're gonna copyright me like what the fuck so right now is just battling a lot of copyright stuff so yeah that's about it um it's a bit weird because this 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 review has turned into all sorts of things so i guess it's gonna be like a quick a quick uh, what the fuck is that a quick recap on everything you know what i'm saying uh, so yeah guys, thank you so much for watching, and uh, I know a lot of you haven't subscribed, but please be still subscribed, I'm gonna put some stuff up, I just don't know what yet, you know, I, I'm I'm thinking of material, I'm, I'm thinking of, of writing, I'm thinking of, of, of doing my own skits, um, it's just, it's just gonna take time, uh, I wanna bring back Dicky, but I don't know what to put him in anymore, because I think I've, I've kind of lost that that rage but also I still have it you know what I mean like it's it's just one of those things where you have a character but you don't know how to carry him forward because he is animated he takes a lot of energy out of me he's he's he's, he's very he's very abrasive he's very he's very much a, a character which I want on my channel because he is everything that I'm insecure about, um, you know, as a millennial, as a as a guy, um, and as a as a teenager slash young adult. You know what I'm saying? So that's it, guys. Um, and I will see you in the next video, hopefully soon. I don't know yet. So see you then.